hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in today's video you will learn open ai function calling functionality in this video together we will build a python flask application this application will help us connect whatsapp to open ai function calling facility in this video we will also use mongodb to store our users information and chat they previously done so let's get started first let's look into the flow chart of our python flask application a user sends a request it comes to a platform that provides whatsapp api in our case it is twilio Twilio, once received user request, will send the information to our webhook. We extract the information, go to our database, fetch chat history. But in case the user has sent his first message, then we create the user. Once we have the chat history of the user, we will go to OpenAI and in that open ai chat completion request we will also pass our tools so open ai will decide whether to use tools or not once open ai sends a response back it will have two things either a tool is called tool or function is called or it isn't called if the function is called tool has fulfilled all the arguments then we will extract the function parameter use the parameters uh, fulfill something and then pass the fulfilled response to open ai open ai will beautify that response and we will send the response back to the user but in case a function or tool isn't called then we will pass the information back to the user. So in this way, we will build end-to-end -end application so that someone from our WhatsApp can connect to OpenAI in more controlled manner. In this application, we will need Twilio credential so that from WhatsApp, we can communicate we will need mongodb in order to save our users information and previous chat history let's look into the code section into the code section you must have a dot env file with these things open ai api key uh, twilio credential and mongodb connection string let me show you how you can get those things. So when you create your account with Twilio and create a project under that, you will get your account SID and auth token. Once you get these things, please don't share these things with anybody. It's sensitive information. Next, you will need to create account with MongoDB Atlas. Once you create your account, you will be creating a user to communicate all the database so make sure you have the username and password and under the network access you have created a network access policy where you allow access from anywhere once you have these two things done on mongodb you can go to database and then go to connect select compass and you will have your connection string and make sure to change your password with the current password you have set for the user once all the things are ready we can move to the code section we will build all the part of the flow chart we have seen here one by one on our application we will use python and flask so let's first create 
a virtual environment it is a good practice when you create a new project to have a virtual environment so i'll create a virtual environment then i'll activate it i'll come to my visual studio code and I, the first thing i'll do is that i'll create a config file this config file will read all the information from our .env file so let me copy the code for our config file you can see we are getting an error which says that you ha don't have uh, .env so i'll install that Once I do that, I'll freeze the requirements as well. You can see here, uh, let me select my interpreter as well. Yeah, this is the one. Now, uh, what we are doing is that we are calling load and find uh, .env and then reading all the environment variables. Also, uh, we have uh, an error message as well. I don't need this import, so I'll okay. Now uh, let me post this changes uh, to GitHub repository. Added config and requirements dot txt file. Now, the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be uh, creating all the database functions. So, let me grab the database functions. Here, in the database function, uh, we will need PyMongo so let's first install pip install pymongo once install again i'll be freezing the requirements.txt file now let's look into the code itself so we have three methods update messages so that when user sends a message we will update the messages list on the collection so that when user sends a message again we can have the context then we have create user in case the user is not there in our collection and then get user to check if the user is there or not so this thing is done now uh, let's create our open AI uh, functionality so for that I'll be creating open AI uh, underscore functions dot pi file here you can see that uh, I have one chat completion function this chat completion first calls the open AI chat completion create we will pass the messages once we get the response we will look if our uh, open AI call has you know tool calls or not if you look here in the flow chart you'll see that we are checking if the tool call is there or not and based on that we decide our next action so what we'll do is that we'll see if the tool call is there. If the tool call is there, then you know we will append our response into the messages, and then you know get the tool function name, uh, tool arguments, and you know call our own function. These three lines uh, I'll explain better when we move forward into the application. But what we do is that. 
uh, we choose which which function to call uh, load the argument and call that function while passing the argument once we get the response we will set the response uh, into the messages and then call the chat completion uh, second time in order to beautify the response if you look here uh, we are here and then if the tool call is there we will you know extract the parameter call our own function and pass the response of the own function to open ai to get the beautified version of the response now so this is uh, open ai part let me save this then next let's create a uh, few more things i guess uh, yeah so let's create few more things uh, let's now create our tool okay so let me copy this and let's create tools dot pi so I have just created two random tools one to get current weather second to get current weather for number of days uh, so this is a standard format of uh, the function uh, the tool function that you want to create uh, it should have name description parameter uh, the type will be an object then the properties uh, these are the properties that i have uh, like location and unit in here and i only require location here i have location unit and number of days and I only require number of days and location. So once uh, you know OpenAI fills the information, it will let us know that it has you know collected all the information for a tool call. Next, let's create uh, tool functions. Tool functions dot by let me do just yeah tool function dot by so here you can see i have get current weather it you know expects a function argument as a dict and it returns a string so at this point i'm not doing anything but you can extract the arguments and you know do stuff with it so i have one more for uh, current weather for n days and i'll pass those functions as a dictionary so i'll save it and you can see now all the uh, errors are gone but still we need to install openai so for that i'll say pip install openai and i'll freeze the requirements dot txt now uh, we have these things uh, at our disposal so let's create a small util function utils.py just to format users messages into a format that is acceptable by open ai so this you know creates messages into the format that open ai understands once we have done these things now let's create our uh, flask server okay so for that uh, let me copy a few things and i'll say main dot pi so this will be our entry point what we are doing is that uh, we are creating a flask application once it is created uh, we have this route home route to make sure everything works then we have another route uh, to handle request 
from webhook uh, this we don't need at this point it is due to some other work yeah so here we accept the request from twilio and i have this handle request function so what i'm doing is i'm creating thread so that in case we receive too much messages we can uh, handle those messages so it's not the optimal way but i have implemented it so now here uh, in the handle request function what we do is that we extract the parameter of the user and uh, there are a few things that i don't want at this point but uh, let me get rid of those things okay and now let me format this a bit better way okay so now what we'll do is that we will first try to get our user if uh, the user is there then we will fetch the last three messages to create the context otherwise uh, messages will be and empty list uh, then we will first call uh, our chat completion functionality now chat com completion functionality itself uh, yeah okay open ai uh, functions i guess yeah uh, database api functions i guess yeah so we create the chat completion and we get the response back after that we will send message back to the user if the user is not there we will create the user and you know maintain a user account and other stuff if the user is there uh, sorry i missed uh, if the user is there we will update the messages of the user and if the user is not there we will create a new user uh, you can play around with uh, the user object here as well so now uh, one last thing we want is to create uh, twilio functions i'll call it twilio functions and let's create twilio functions so here uh, twilio underscore functions dot pi and let me get that as well so here uh, I, we don't need this it is as i said we do some other work so here we have a function called uh, send message this will take a number and message to send message and we still don't have twilio so i'll say clear the screen and i'll say pip uh, install twilio right enter again we will freeze the requirements so that now we have these things ready i hope uh, yeah to your functions and we don't have this functions uh, we still need flask as well so i'll say pip install flask and gunicon gunicon to run the server yeah let me clear this and let me freeze the requirements yeah so i guess everything is done um, we don't need this config i'll remove that okay now uh, my usual practice is to create a run.py where i can you know keep you know run.py will be our just entry point to main.py and other functionalities so i'll create that and let me put code into that very quickly uh, there will be only few lines of code okay so this is our uh, run.py so run.py goes to main.py main.py has you know function uh, sorry route 
to receive uh, Twilio request and uh, with that we have a handle request which handles the request calls the all functions database functions chat completion and other stuff and it will you know uh, complete the procedure send the message back to the user now i hope you understand all the things uh, still if you have query here so i'll do all the things uh, let's first print tools call okay then print uh, the function name then uh, print the function to call then let's uh, print the function arguments and finally let's print the function response so you will get better and clear idea about that so now let's do one thing uh, let's try to run our application we will run it using guni con run uh, app hyphen hyphen reload you can see uh, the application is running and if i click here we will see a response uh, very quickly here you can see we got okay response now uh, what we will do is that uh, we will expose our local host to internet through ngrock so for that i'll say ngrock http 8000 so now this is my uh, public url so what i'll do is that if you see here we got the same response now i'll copy this url i'll go to twilio uh, messaging and try it out send a whatsapp message so this will be our sandbox here under sandbox setting i'll provide my url followed by twilio followed by webhook and i'll save this so that means when someone sends a message uh, to this number before that they need to write the code because we are in a sandbox once they do that uh, they can send a message and the message then finally will be received on our this public domain and in turn it will be received on this uh, gunicon server and in turn it will be received on the application so let me send a message from my whatsapp to and the number uh, let me do that very quickly so i'll find it first i need to send uh, my code that is join byte hyphen determine okay and yeah i am connected and when i say hi hopefully we will receive yeah you can see we received uh, information and yeah okay invalid request so we are facing invalid request from open ai and that is because yeah gpt model so i'm not sure we have that okay gpt model it is there okay my bad uh, the gpt model is not there so let me copy the correct string for open ai models uh, gpt 40 yeah so i have got that and let's replace this okay when i refresh this hopefully uh, the server is restarted now again if i send one more message 
i okay you can see that uh yeah you can see this is the uh, SID for the message being sent so uh, we got a new request then uh, since this none is like we don't have a user but now the user is there now we have formatted the messages and passed it to open ai and it has you know given a response and we have sent the message back to the user mm, now uh, let's try to call a function so in order to call a function i'll say something like uh, what is the weather in Ahmedabad, for example so let's see what happens so i'll say uh, what is the weather in Ahmedabad, gujarat for example okay okay so you can see that the first thing uh, from here a new request came and you can see i have sent like what is the weather in Ahmedabad, gujarat so here the tool call is there then uh, we will you know uh, format the messages uh, my bad this is the tool call okay this is the tool call uh, once the tool call is there uh, this was the user object yeah i missed that this was the user object and you can see that we have the previous message context as well now this is a chat completion and you can see the function was called and these are the uh, extracted parameter so this is the get weather object that we want to create and then uh, we got this uh, parameters we pass this parameter to our function this is from the function and this is the response that we have sent uh, from our function and this is the formatted response by dialog flow and let's go uh, through this uh, side by side yeah so let's go to these uh, things side by side from the top so you can see here uh, yeah a new request came so uh, a new twilio request came then we are printing our user so uh, we are looking into uh, these things okay so we got our user uh, this is the user then we print our query uh, here is the query where is the query where is the query yeah so here is the query what is the weather in Gujarat then we print the sender ID and the messages okay formatted messages then we uh, went to chat completion so when i come here so we came to chat completion we print the uh, tool call so here this is the tool call this part is the tool call then which function to call so get uh, current weather function to call create an object so we created an object then we uh, received the function argument and then we call the function by passing the argument so this function call is our object so we have called uh, these uh, this function call get current weather which resides here and we have sent a response like this the current weather uh, in city Ahmedabad is 25 degree Celsius so that came to here yeah uh, function response which is this thing and then we passed it to open ai and open ai has formatted this and it has returned the response and this is the response and finally once we got the response we have sent message back to the user so i know it's uh, uh, <clears throat> too much but i hope you understand this thing very clearly and 
with the help of these function calling you can actually call a function first extract the parameters that you want and then actually call the function and you know uh, go to any other database or go anywhere that you want to fetch the information and create a string and pass it back so with this this uh, structure i have given you you can create your own uh, chatbot that does something really good so i guess uh, this is it from my side and before we move forward i would like to show you that i have a community on nas.io about chatbots it's called learn everything about chatbots i do free session and provide free information here on the community and you can connect to me through this community next i have a course on google dialog flow essential version in the course you can learn uh, google dialog flow essential from start to end and you can you know able to build two projects in this uh, course as well i hope uh, this video is informative to you and if it is so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace